This is the uh, first time meeting to try and launch our new association that we're bringing up. Uh, first ever meeting right now. Uh, we're still in the recruiting process. Uh, the name right now, American Association for Wealth Preservation. My name is Victor Lloyd Burgess, I'm with DBC, um, and we are uh, sponsoring this. We have a guest speaker tonight who's going to be talking about first time home buyers, but we're going to have different topics every month, I'm meet once a month. We're going to have some question and answers, and then basically we're going to have some networking, everybody get their media ready, uh, start networking. What's going to eventually start happening with this association is we're always going to have what's called strategic partners. These are par partners in different parts of the industry, so it could be tax professionals, um, accountants, um, real estate people, uh, financial planners, insurance agents, bankers, stuff like that. What happens in this network is we start building these associations with all these professionals. That way in your life, whatever comes up, we have somebody that can help you. The why did associations help you build and keep your wealth. Everybody heard of a AARP? Does anybody know who they are? They're kind of a small organization. But AARP, they specialize basically in people over 50, right? Okay, and, and as you get into retirement, moving into retirement, their associations are trying to help you with your uh, retirements and, and getting through what happens as you become seniors. We're looking at calling it the AAWP for American Association of Wealth Preservation. And again, the idea here is that we want to have a nonprofit where we're concerned about people's wealth preservation for them and their families. Okay. Uh, let's say why we're doing this. One of the main reasons, I don't know if you guys are aware, but spending in this country is starting to go crazy. Everybody agree? Um, spending is not the problem, though, right? We can this can go as high as we want as long as this number stays below. If you bring in enough money, you're paying for your spending. If you don't bring in enough money, you're not paying for your spending. And that's what's been happening. It's been going crazy. So that's going to start creating a lot of problems for all of us and our families, right? Right now. Each of us in this room, each man, woman, and child in the country, to pay off our liabilities for this country is $353,000 per person. Okay, that's going to be creating a lot of problems for us. You're going to see the taxes, fees, everything. Maybe some of you have been noticing. Uh, I've been hearing people getting pulled over for traffic violations. The tickets are doubling and tripling. Cops aren't letting you off. Big tax problem. So we're going to have lots of fees. That's going to increase gas, food, everything else, interest rates, inflation. Everything's going to start going crazy, right? So we're going to start needing help. We're going to have to start having a network of people we go to to help us through all these situations. Everything we do, we need to be able to cut taxes, costs, reduce stop losses, make everything to go forward. Because after 2008, the rules have all changed. Before 2008, it was different. Now it's going to be going crazy. Just to give you an example. Has everybody ever went to the US debt clock on the internet? U.S. Debt Clock. It's a scary thing. It's a dot .org. If you go under usdebtclock.org. I put this slide together April 10th, this slide right here, and got from the information on there. Social Security, right? Just from April 10th, 12 trillion to 14.3 trillion. I pulled this number up uh, two days ago. It's going like Bankbusters. Now, if you've been listening to the talk of heads, they're talking about we're bankrupt Social Security this year. Some are saying, no, it's not this year. Okay, so there's different numbers out there. But pretty much, uh, this is the first year it's ever been in the red. If you look at Medicare, just from April 10th to a couple of days ago, 75 uh, trillion to 75.93, so another $930 billion. Okay, things are going to get really rough for us and our families. Okay. If you're looking at uh, the spending, 3.5 trillion dollars spent, and just from, again, April 10th, we went from 945 billion spent from January this year to 1.8 trillion. That's just this so far this year. Okay, this is going to impact everything we do. You have foreclosures went from 249,000 to 485. Uh, you have uh, bankruptcies going from 388 to 830,000. Okay. What is some of the things to destroy wealth? What are some of the things we have to worry about? Income taxes, estate taxes, capital gains taxes. We have interest on debt. We have inflation, which is reducing our buying power. We have low rates of return. We have risk of principal. We have RMDs, required interest distribution from our IRAs. Everything's designed to take our wealth away, right? 
what are some of the builders? Tax advantaged investments, tax managed investments, tax deferred 1035 exchanges, real estate with 1031 exchanges, advanced estate planning, incorporation, life insurance, uh, high rate return. I don't know if you're aware of this, but incorporations, LLCs, did you hear the Supreme Court in Florida is allowing the creditors to go after a single owner LLC? So that's going to start some strange changes too. Again, you got to know the right people when things start happening in your life, right? Principal protective strategies, Roth IRAs, and the annuitizations. Uh, the tax scheme is going to become really, really critical. Taxes are going to be skyrocketing just because of our spending that we're doing. You have to pay only what you owe, reduce or eliminate all that you legally can. Emphasis now, again, is on legally. The IRS now has more staff, more people looking at people, what you're doing, how you're incorporating, what you're doing in your businesses. And they're starting to do more audits, and they're looking for people that's been operating in the gray. Okay. Corporations, how you incorporate, supercharger retirement benefits qualified, and as uh, John D. Rockefeller used to say, it's getting to the point where that makes even more sense is to control everything but don't own anything anymore. Everybody met my uncle? No. Funny thing about my uncle, when you earn it, he taxes it, right? You spend it, he taxes it. You try to save it, he taxes it. You own it, he taxes it. And when you die, he taxes it again, sometimes twice, right? You think that's been a problem in the past? You should see what's happening in estate planning and tax planning now. It's getting absolutely crazy. How about inflation? Anybody who was in real estate, buying houses and getting loans back in the 70s? Remember those double digit interest rates? Then we had some nice booming, right? A lot of internet, uh, the semiconductors boom and everything kept inflation relatively. Everything, everybody's making money, everything was under control. If you average that, when it comes out to 4.8, expect to see the big ones coming back, I'm sure. Again, that's why we're trying to put this association, get this launched up. The nonprofit for people's wealth preservation. There's going to be a lot of stuff working against us, so we're going to need to know the right people when things happen to us. We're going to make sure we have to stay on top of the laws, stay on top of the rules because they're going to be changing all the time. This is a professor who you know because he always says, remember, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Okay? American Association of Wealth Preservation. This is a, a, the power of strategic partnering. Strategic partnering means that basically imagine if in your life, you, uh, you personally knew a professional help you would ever come up in your life, right? Imagine if you had a network of people that you knew personally, or financial planners, insurance agents, CPAs, enrolled agents, taxes, estate attorneys, right? Realtors and other professionals that can help you with like credit, credit issues, taxes, taxation, incorporation, retirement, investments, life insurance, real estate, and advanced estate planning, and anything else we end up that we're going to be bringing in here. Imagine if you started meeting them once a month and started having relationships with if in the association, you're networking people to have these business opportunities, can you imagine how, how, how better off you're gonna be and how more capable you're gonna be to survive what's coming up? Right now, like I said, this is the first time we've ever had a meeting, but we're looking to uh, have monthly meetings to get the latest news and law changes, the topic of the day, which today is first time home buyers, meet and get, to, uh, meet strategic partners, and we'll bring more of those in, hopefully, the membership can recommend people that we can look at for strategic partnering. Also, uh, networking with the other uh, AWP members. What we're looking for now is to get people on the supervisory board. Right now, we don't really have, uh, we have uh, about four people. We need somebody to help us to set up newsletters, to keep uh, updates going, uh, promote the, uh, your business. If, you're, uh, if you have a business and you're a member, you can promote your business through the association. Uh, we have uh, seminars and classes we want to schedule throughout the month to help educate and move things up. So hopefully uh, most of you will come in today. You can sign up over here for um, being a member, exp uh, express if you want to be on the board, and um, if you want to join in, uh, participate in any of the classes or trainings that we're having. Uh, we need uh, members to help us organize and register the whole thing. I'm not a... Uh, organizer for nonprofits, so we need some expert help there. Newsletter writers, uh, keep track of the database, emails, social networking guru. Uh, social networking is top to keep everything informed, right? Uh, association partners would be members that have stores or businesses on their business through association. We're going to call them association partners. And then lots of association members. 